Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. In this game, we'll see the Milwaukee Bucks going up against the Kansas City Kings. I'm Kevin Harlan with Mike Fratello and Clark Kellogg. On the sideline, David Aldridge. Mike, we know this is never an easy scenario for any team playing the second game of a back-to-back. -back. But it's life in the NBA. It does force a team to go a little deeper into its bench. Everybody has to contribute on back-to-back -back nights. Now, here's Johnson. Turned in an outstanding game against Chicago. And it's in there. Great job getting it to the open man. Johnson, an excellent teammate. Here's the dude on the wing, Johnson. And the pass to Moncrief. Down to five on the shot clock. Lanier. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Lanier, a big, strong lefty. Really good at finding contact inside and drawing the foul. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And the first one at the line is good. He makes one of two that time. Loves to score. Lanier, a huge threat inside. I pose Johnson. Pass to Drew. Here's Oberding. Nice ball movement by Kansas City. Now Johnson. Missile blows, bucket is good, and he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. An explosive athlete, Eddie Johnson, can beat you down low. Kansas City shooting their first foul shot of the night. That's good from Johnson. And I like how Johnson plays to his strengths, especially on offense where he is a major threat. Got a piece of it. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Here's Drew. Pass to Oberding. And they'll get another chance. Knight against Moncrief. Knight passes to Oberding. That shot off. Really good position defensively in a Really good shot contest, too. Couldn't have played it any better. Pass to Moncrief. Here's Lanier. He's covered by Thompson. Now the pass to the dude. Shoots. From the top of the key, he buries it. And that pass from Johnson was on the money. Gotta appreciate that selfless attitude. Here's Drew. Thompson up top. Here's Knight. Unable to get that one. And the defense was ready for that. They know he's a threat at the rim and swarmed him on that layup. Here's the dude. Thompson with the rebound. He thought that one was going down as soon as it left his hands. Well, with good reason. That was a great look. Just bad luck it didn't go down. And that's out of bounds. Kansas City will retain possession. You know, deflections are key. They're big in this league. You want to be disruptive to the other team's offense. Yeah, little tips like that, they can frustrate opponents. Here's Drew. 
The 19-footer is on the money. The defense getting hung up on the pick there. They've got to get over it. And every time they don't, they're just allowing the shooter to find the jumper. Moncrief, the pass to the dude. Here's the three. Falls through. He's now made two of four. Tell you what, he looks laser focused out of the gate. Scary thought for the defense when he's locked in like that. And you worry about just how quickly he's working himself into a rhythm. Not what the D wants. And so Kansas City now, following the three by Milwaukee. Here's Oberding. Catchings with the rebound. The Bucks trail. First quarter of play, we're about three minutes in. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. Pass tonight. Here's Oberding. Knight passes to Oberding. They shoot again. The rebound by the Bucks. Rough quarter for him. Just hasn't been able to connect. And that's the way it goes sometimes. Just got to stay with it. Pass to the dude. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And the foul called on Kansas City. Some physical play from the 6'11 Lanier. Creating contact and getting the whistle. The Bucs shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. That one drops. He ties it up. Neely's checked in for the Kings. Now the free throw is good. Now leading by one. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Here's Drew. Passes it to Neely. Now Knight. Moncrief defending. Knight against Moncrief. The pass to Drew. Four on the clock. With a floater. That's good. The assist that time from Knight. Drew's got six. The teardrop, just a wonderful shot to have in your bag. On the wing, Johnson. He's guarded by Johnson. Pass to Catchings. And here's Moncrief. Still yet to score. Pass to the dude. It's on target from the high post. And you know, the ability to knock down the mid-range shot can be an equalizer against bigger defenders. Absolutely. Draw them away from the rim where their size becomes a hindrance. Here's Drew following the bucket by the Bucks. Johnson dishes to Knight. Passes it to Oberding. Back to Knight. Shoots over Moncrief. Catchings with the rebound. The defense made an impact right there. Definitely got him uncomfortable going up with it. Moncrief, the pass to the dude. And it's another Milwaukee shot right there going in. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean, he's a threat every time up the floor. The pass to Drew. Here's Oberding. Johnson right side. Count that bucket. Five points in the game. I like watching Johnson utilize this area of the floor because he's very effective from there. Johnson outside. Pass to the dude. The 15 footer. And it's another Milwaukee shot right there going in. Nice pass creating the opportunity. Great teamwork on that one. Johnson outside. Pass to Oberding. Here's Drew. Nice ball movement by Kansas City. Knight passes to Johnson. Takes the 13-footer. Rebound, Milwaukee. Lanier's got four rebounds now tonight. Johnson outside. 158 left in the first quarter. 
Passes to Catchings. Moncrief up top. He's guarded by Knight. And Moncrief gets it to go. With how great Moncrief is defensively, any points Sydney gives you are a giant bonus. Timeout called by the Kings. Played through the first uh, minute here in the second. And he trims the lead to single digits. The sweet mid-range jumper of Boosie. Man, is he on the money from there. So for the Kings, their last game a win against Chicago. They show just how deep this team is. Great contributions for them from the bench. And if you're going to get wins on the road, you need to have a strong rotation. Being able to compete with your stars resting goes a long way. And we're now about a minute and a half into the second quarter. And Johnson now top of the key. Gets an open look and hits. Johnson's got 11 points. Well, Johnson has his feet ready now. He's shot prepared. All he needs is the ball. Bucks leading by eight. Here's the dude. 13 points in the game. And another three for Milwaukee. Boy, this is turning the height disadvantage into an advantage. Yeah, smart play. Take him out of the paint area. Make the taller guy guard you on the perimeter. Here's Boosie following the three by Milwaukee. Johnson right side. And another basket for Eddie Kansas Johnson. City. Eddie Johnson so good at getting to his spot. He is flat out taking over this game right now. Here's the dude. He picked up 30 points in their last win against the Knicks in New York. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Hey, Mike, there's a lot of great young talent in the NBA today, but the veteran stars, I, I can tell, aren't ready to give up the spotlight just yet. Guys like Kareem, Dr. J, and the Iceman, for all the exciting players coming up right now, They've got a long way to go to match some of the achievements of those legends. And no one appreciates those legends, Mike, more than you, because I think you, having coached and played like you have, you, you know what these guys have put into their careers, into their individual games. It, it's mind-bending. They've set themselves up so that younger players can watch them, try to emulate what they have done in the past, and try to reach the levels that they have achieved which may be very hard to do for a lot of them. Wow, you're exactly right. Here's Boosie. Johnson surveying the floor. To the inside. And the basket by Boosie. Boosie's got four points this quarter. The story of their offense so far has been just that, getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Here's Bridgman. That one's all good. Now he's three for five from the field. Not allowing the defense to bother him. Bridgman is excellent at staying in control. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. Here's Woodson. Covered by Johnson. Lock at six. Now here's Johnson. Defense is right there. That shot off the mark. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Bucks. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. And there are the Bucks with another bucket. And that type of defense doesn't get to Johnson. He's adept at working through contact. And here in the second quarter of action as we approach four minutes played. Boosie, the pass to Oberding. Here's Johnson. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Bucks leading by 12. Here's the dude. 17 points in the game. On the wing, Johnson. 
And he drops it in from the low post. Johnson's got the lead up to 14 now for the Bucks. For Kansas City, they've gone seven and nine in their field goal attempts here in the second quarter. Pretty good offense. So the Kings call timeout. They're first. So Kansas City now. It's a 14-point game. Here's Thompson. And another shot. It's hauled in by Lanier. Lanier's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's the dude. Off target from outside. Knight with it. And there's the pass to Oberding. That one drops for him. Oberding's got his first basket of the night. This is why coaches preach ball movement. It keeps everyone engaged. Here's the dude. The shot will not fall. Some solid defense from Knight. Here's Woodson. Trains it from 17 feet out. Woodson's got four points in the quarter. Well, if you want the mid-range, it's normally there. Here's the dude. Pass to Bridgman. To the right side. Shoots it. And again, the Bucks miss. Kansas City trails by 10. 11 feet away. Up again. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Good awareness that time to put the shot right back up before the defense can react. Moncrief the pass to Johnson. Here's the dude. The shot's good on the assist by Johnson. Johnson's got three assists now in this one. I like that they're putting in the work trying to build this lead out. Because in the NBA, no lead is safe. Here's Drew. He's got eight. Pass to Woodson. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Puts it up from 17. Yep, it goes in. And the Milwaukee lead is cut back down to eight. An important basket there from Drew. Wow, he was just wide open there. That's way too easy. Here's the dude. 19 points in the game. Basket counts. The dude's got 21 in the game. His hot streak continues. Night after night, making his presence felt offensively. Moncrief against Knight. To the wing right side. Passes it to Woodson. Out to the right wing. Here's Drew. And another basket for Kansas City. Assist from Mike Woodson. Bucks leading by eight. The pass to Moncrief. Johnson, the pass to the dude. And again, it's Milwaukee converted. The team first mindset of Marcus Johnson. What a catalyst. Great play there. Here's Drew. He's got 12. inside. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Well, you can't give him any room to maneuver on the board because once he does, he's going to make you pay. And the Kings making a change here. Johnson's checked in. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. That free throw good from Thompson. And when I think of Thompson, his rebounding comes to mind. He's a big man who knows how to use his length. Johnson against Pressy. Right wing. Here's the dude. 
Rebound by the Kings. Thompson's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Knight wide open. Pressy with the rebound. You know, you got a feel for him. He just cannot seem to buy a bucket here. Yeah, but he has to stop shooting. He's really hurting his team. Count it. And now it's up to 25 points for the dude. He always knows where his teammates are on the floor. Pressy notches assists left and right. Here's Drew. Got it off in time. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. And so it's Milwaukee in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. We'll return shortly. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game is still to play. We're seeing a tremendous game from the dude. Don't think you can be much more efficient offensively than that. Not being one-dimensional either. Getting it done multiple ways. Bucks leading by nine. Johnson outside. Feeds to Moncrief. Back to Johnson. Pass to the dude. Fires it up. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. To the paint. Here's Drew. That's good. The assist that time from Knight. Knight's got his third assist on the night. Working his way inside for a high percentage look there. Nicely done. Hey, a bumpy start to a new half for this D, though. They kind of gave that up. Now here's Johnson. Back to Moncrief. Johnson outside. Here's the dude. Thompson with the rebound. Right against Moncrief. Got that one up quick. Johnson's got 15 points. The defense couldn't collapse quickly enough. Milwaukee in the lead. Catchings passes to Johnson. The Bucks working the ball around. Back to Moncrief. Pass to the dude. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got 11 rebounds in the game. And now here's Johnson, the fast break chance. Oberding gets the bucket. Oberding's got his second basket of the game. Great play that time, finishing at the rack. Always nice to be had the two points. Johnson outside. Sidney Moncrief on the wing. He's guarded by Knight. Releases. And that one's good. The dude. The dude's got 27 points. That was really a nice look to the open man by Sidney Moncrief. He's got as versatile a skill set as any guard in the league. Drew passes to Oberding. It's tipped. Moncrief. Inside. A floater. It's blocked. Four on three as they bring it up. Here's Drew. The putback. It's good on the putback. When LaSalle Thompson is out there, you have to pay extra attention to boxing him out. Bucks leading by three. Moncrief the pass to the dude. Fires at the elbow. Jump shot is good. The dude's got four points in the quarter. Perfect pass there. Understanding how to set up his teammate. I'm called here. Kansas City decides to talk it over. Nice game. Great performance by the dude. Time to talk it over. They got to put their heads together to figure out how to slow him down.
substitution on the court. One twenty-seven left to play here in the third. The dude passes to Johnson. Here's Archibald. It's tipped. And now the Kings fast break, pushing it up. Here's Brucey. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. A fixture on the all-defensive team. Don Busey is such a pesky guard, disrupting opposing ball handlers, playing the game hard. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for Milwaukee. You have to like what we've seen from them defensively. They've done well contesting shots and have managed to come away with some blocks. I love the fact they've done tremendous work on the offensive glass. A lot of second chance opportunities as they've kept that ball alive. Johnson, he's checked in for Kansas City. He hits the second from the line. 111 left in the third. That one misses. Great tee that time from Johnson. Woodson passes to Johnson for the lead. And it's Woodson missing. You expect to get two points there. A little unlucky for them. Johnson outside. There's 42 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Mullen with the defensive effort. And Kansas City shooting almost 60% from the field here in the third. They are really feeling it. Here's Johnson, and he banks in the layup. Johnson. Johnson's got four points in the quarter. Gliding up the floor. Johnson moves so well and outworks the defense in transition. Let's it go from 14. Here's Johnson, and then Johnson with the dunk. We've seen Clark five lead changes so far. Neither team is able to pull away. And because of that, Kevin, I just feel like this game is going to come down to the wire. Johnson outside. Left side, Mullen. That's good, and it's Johnson with the assist. Johnson's got five assists in the game. The basis of our game is the pass. Sharing, being a great teammate. The two, and the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And as we finish the third quarter, it's still close. Both teams trading baskets. Kings ahead. Ending the third quarter on a 12-4 run. And we'll get going after this from UW-Milwaukee Panther Arena. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. And Kansas City shooting with confidence, 50% from the field so far. Passes it to Neely. Here's Woodson. Over Moncrief. And another basket for Kansas City. These offenses have been so sharp, so focused, so dialed in, and neither one is slowing down in the late game. If anything, I think they're gaining momentum. Both determined to run up the score as much as possible. And Milwaukee has possession. Following the score by Kansas City. Here's the dude. Money from the wing. 31 points for the dude. In a big moment, you go to your star. And that's what they did. And he delivers. As a team, they have a lot of confidence in him taking those high-pressure shots. And he embraces the challenge. Here's Woodson. There's the pass to Boosie. Here's Woodson. Just five to shoot. And the three off target. You can't blame him for taking that shot, especially when the defense leaves the perimeter that unprotected. Took him no time at all on that one. And that's now 33 points for the dude. It's been a tug of war all night long. Seven times the lead has changed. Neither team giving up anything. Here's Boosie. Dishes to Mullen. 
Johnson outside. Here's Woodson. Shoots over Moncrief. Cressy with the rebound. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. Now here is Moncrief. Here's the dude. The rebound by Mullen. Mullen's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Johnson. Here's Neely. And he makes good on the layup. And the Kings lead by one. Now it appears an injury out on the floor, and that does not look like any fun. Man, oh man, that's hard to see right there. I mean, you never want to watch a player go down like this. Yeah, unfortunately, it's part of the... Here's the dude. He dishes it to Pressy. Archibald passes to the dude. The jumper from the free throw line is good. And that's now 35 points for the dude. Excellent distribution. That possession highlighting how important unselfishness is. Johnson against Moncrief. Over to the left wing. Pulls up. They get the rebound. Here's Thompson. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And that's a double-double for him now. 11 points and 17 rebounds. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Pass to Archibald. Moncrief up top. Pass to Archibald. Here's Bridgman. Got it. Good job in the low post. That's why Bridgman's teammates like to serve him the rock. Coming up big in a big spot there. On grief against Johnson. Passes it to Drew. And here is Knight. Pulls up. Larry Drew. Bucks leading by three. Here's Bridgman. And that one drops for him. Awesome work that time from Junior Bridgman. Knifing inside nicely. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Kings. Kicks to Thompson. Now the pass to Drew. Outside Knight. Shot clock at six. Puts one up from 19. Here's Oberding. And out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. And that pass just got away from him. Well off his target. Fifty-nine seconds left to play in the final quarter. Here's the dude. Lanier, the pass to Moncrief. Pass to Lanier. Clock at four, and that one is good. And the Bucks lead by seven. Well, you know, I hesitate to never say never, but I don't think there's really enough time for a comeback to happen. It's a sizable lead, and it may get even bigger. Time called here. Kansas City decides to talk it over. They're down by seven. 41 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Knight passes to Drew. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Second personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the Kings. Larry Drew. Two shots. And the first of two. No good. Heartbreaker. Heartbreaker. 
That's good. Going one of two from the line, and that trims the lead to six. They needed all of them to drop. Tough trip. And an intentional foul right there. He drops the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Cannot convert on the second. That misses. Now the Kings with it. You can sense their frustration right now. This game really got away from them. Yeah, just couldn't keep it competitive down the stretch. I'm sure Coach will have a lot to say about this one. At the line for the Kings, Eddie Johnson taking two shots. First free throw is good, and that trims the lead to six. Good on both. Twenty-seven seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one, and they go to the intentional foul. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. does get the second one and that increases their lead to six i'm called here kansas city decides to talk it over they trail by six 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter Johnson, the pass to Thompson. Count it! And now they trail by just four. Just a load inside. Thompson bullying the defense in the paint. And now they foul and stop the clock. Yep, good foul to stop the clock. A couple of misses here, and they could be back in it. So the first one drops, and that puts them up by five. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. You know, important for him to come through at the line there because they want to expand that lead. Timeout called by the Kings. They're trailing by six. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Drew passes to Johnson. Got it! And, and now they trail by just four. He's got nerves of steel. Johnson is counter on late in games. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. First free throw missing for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. And the second of two is good. That puts them up by five. I'm called here. Kansas City decides to talk it over. They're trailing by five. 17 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Guys, your thoughts? And I think they're going to have to work really fast coming out of the timeout. Yeah, they're in desperation mode right now. Need a quick shot and a foul. Seventeen seconds left in the game. Johnson against Johnson. 
Johnson outside. That three off target had some space there after the little pump fake. And so the Bucks take the win. It was tight there at the end, but they were able to give this crowd what they wanted. Kevin, I do think the crowd helped make it happen. I mean, in a close game, the fan support can be a real difference maker. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. And so for Mike Fratello, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan alongside our entire 2K Sports crew thanking you for watching. And we'll see you next time.